Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is very good to be back. Uh, we are now 6-0 and oh the last two weeks. 6-0, and oh, we haven't missed. We've hit on every single bet we've made. We didn't just hit on the money line, but we've hit on everything. Every prop, everything we've made so far this year, we have hit on. Um, so this year can't be... We got, can't have gotten off to a better start this uh, first two weeks. And, and this is what the boxing bookie does for you. He just brings you money consistently. Um, yeah, I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. And uh, I've been I've been able to show that to you guys. Um, so we're going to start. We, we've got a bunch more fights next week. And we're really pushing forward. This is a fight that's a week away. This is uh, the Kinshiro fight um, with uh, Carlos Canizales. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book, is, like I said, comes at you for every major fight. We're bringing down the house. We hit on every single fight. Now, this isn't even fun anymore. It, 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 this is simple, simple, simple. Stuff and I'm showing you how to do it. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All right, let's get into um, this today's show. Ken Shiro and Carlos Kenzelis. Uh Yeah, first off, uh, if you, if, if y'all can find a stream for this, I'd appreciate that. Uh, this is for the 108 pound WBA and WBC world title. Um, I was hoping Ken Shiro would win this fight and go up to 112 to fight Bam. It's looking like that's not going to happen. It's looking like Bam is going to stay put at 112 pound. Uh, I mean, Bam's not going to stay put at 112. Bam's going to go to 115. So it looks like this fight's not going to happen. Um, you know, we're going to see Bam at 115 in the future, not 112. But that, that that's besides the point. Uh, Ken Shiro and Carlos Canzales is, is a really fun fighter. If, if you guys don't know Carlos Canzales, he's a former world champ. He's a good fighter. Uh, the odds on this were shockingly wide, although, you know, ultimately they got it right. Um, Canzales goes back all the way to 2016 when he fought uh, Togochi and got a draw in Japan. Uh, that was a New Year's Eve 2016 going to 2017. He put together a few more wins. He got a world title shot um, a couple of years later in 2018. Uh, won the world title at 108 pounds. Won a vacant WBA belt. Defended it once, twice, and on the third time, lost it uh, to Esteban Bermudez in 2021. He's fought a few times since most recently. He fought in June against Daniel Medellin, and I, I watched that fight, and I also scouted the, the, the Bermuda's fight for this fight. Um, he's an aggressive, come forward fighter. He's he's fun. He, he's a good fighter. It, it, he's going to make an excellent fight. He's, he's going to make this fight competitive while, while it lasts. Um, he's got a good chin. Like I said, he's, he's a come forward guy. He cuts off the ring well. He's got this little bit of slight head movement. Just stay off center line. He's not the easiest guy in the hit, although he's no Pernell Whitaker. All right, he's not the hardest guy to hit, but he's not the easiest guy to hit. For, for a come forward fighter, he's a little bit too him. He can slip inside punches a little bit. He can, he can slip and jab pretty well. He can get inside. Ultimately, though, I, I think he fights into Kenshiro's strengths. The, the, the aggressive, all-out assault, it's good. He's heavy-handed, man. He's strong as an ox. He's strong as a Brahma bull. He's got heavy hands. You, you can tell that. He's got 19 knockouts, I think, in his 26 wins. Is that right? Yeah, 19 knockouts in his 26 wins, which is good uh, for the small weight classes. You, you can see he carries pop. He likes to slide on the inside and, and do his damage there. He sits down on his punches. Well, he, 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 he's a good puncher. He's a boxer puncher slash swarmer, right? Like his style, he's kind of got a fusion style. He he, he 
he's easily engaged is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out with Kenshiro. Kenshiro, I think, is the most underrated guy in the sport or on a very short list. Jaya Pattaya, if you guys don't know Jaya Pattaya, he may be the most underrated man in the sport. He should be verging on pound for pound list. He's the ring magazine, I guess we could call him the lineal cruiserweight champ. Kenshiro, junior fl- light flyweight, is, I-, I think, right there with him, is one of the most underrated guys in the sport. You know, he, he's got that traditional style that's not different, much different uh, in a way until he wants to exchange. In a, in a way, is 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 calm and control. Uh, Kenshiro opens up a lot more. But he makes you fight on his terms. He'll start slow. And then he'll systematically break you down. When you want to rest, he's going to fight. And when you want to fight, he's going to rest. He's excellent at making you fight on his terms. He's got an astronomical ring IQ. He's got good pop, too. He, like, he likes to load up. He's got he's a southpaw. He's got a really good left hand. And he just lands. like He just flicks it. It's like a quarterback who just flicks his wrist and the ball flies 70 yards. Like his, 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 his straight left is like that. Like There's a lot of pop on it. And he doesn't really load up on it, right? Like He just flicks it, and there's power on it. He can punch. He doesn't move his head much. Um, he doesn't have blazing hand speed. He's not. He's he's straight up and down. He's in the high guard. You know he'll block shots, block shots. He's, he's good at punching in between your punches too. He does he does a lot of things really well. He's really good in exchanges too, which is going to make this fight interesting. I think he's a lot more technically sound, a lot more complete than Canizales. He also uses his jab a lot more. So he's going to be able to use his jab to keep Kaisalas off of him and set him up for the left hand. He's also going to be able to use his jab to get on the inside. There's a lot to like about Kenshiro. He doesn't throw a ton. He's pretty selective with his punches. But when he hurts you, he's a world-class finisher. He's got really good power. He's a world-class finisher. High ring IQ. There's not much, you know, defensively, he's a Japanese. He's going to get hit, right? Like, he's not, he doesn't move his head much. You know, he block, block, block. He doesn't have, you know, terrific lateral movement. It's straight in and out. So he's not a perfect fighter by any means. But he's good enough at what he does where he's going to be really, really hard to beat anywhere from 108 to 112. And I'd like to see him move up to 112. I like to see him fight Sonny Edwards, fight someone like that, see see how he does there. Because the bigger fights are going to be at 112 and 115 for him. Now, I don't know if he can go all at 115, but he can do 112. I, I think I think this is going to be a really high-level high fight. I think it's going to be a fun fight. I think it's going to be an entertaining fight that, that Kenshiro ultimately wins and probably wins by stoppage. Uh, we were talking about Kanzalas' power. Kenshiro's not a feather-fisted guy either. Kenshiro can crack. Kenshiro's got 14 knockouts and 22 wins for skin. You know, anything above 50% in the small weight classes is, is indicative of pretty good power. Just recently, Kenshiro knocked out uh, Butler in the ninth round. He knocked out uh, Anthony Oluskakuga in the ninth round. He's got a, 17, a seventh round knockout over Kai Gucci. He can punch. So he, he's running. How many knockouts does he have in a row? He's got four knockouts in a row since his loss in 2021. I expect him to get another one. Now, we're going to pull up the props. We're going to pull up the bets on this. And, you know, there's not a lot, unfortunately, because I would pick with him by stoppage. They're not offering me that. So I want to take a look at what they are offering us, and I'm going to show you how to make money. It's real simple. Like I said, the only thing DraftKings, and we always use DraftKings. I like DraftKings. I don't gamble. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. If I wanted to, I couldn't use this, but I don't gamble. But if you do, go to DraftKings, sign up an account, put Ken Shiro. He's minus 700, which I think is too wide. I think this would be minus 450, minus 400, something like that. And Ken's L should be plus 3, 350, something like that. But we're going to take Ken Shiro. Minus 200, a $200 bet is going to make us 
We're going to cash in on this. Unfortunately, there's no props on this. We can't take him by stoppage. We can't take the under. We can't take the over. Anything like that. I would take Kinshiro. If you can find a book, I would take Kinshiro by KO, TKO, DQ. I think he definitely wins this fight inside the, inside the distance. And not because Kinshiro is a bump. Kinshiro is a good fighter. Just that he's going to be there to be hit. And, and Kinshiro is so much more complete. And he can crack. I, I just think Kinshiro gets him out from a culmination of shots. And like I said, Kinshiro is a world-class finisher. So... I'm looking at this. Kinshiro by stoppage. The only the only play we have here is the money line. It's minus 700, which I think is too wide. But Kinshiro, I think, is definitely going to win the fight. So we're going to make it a two times bet. So in this case, $200 bet makes it $28. That's all we got for Kinshiro. Let me know what you guys think. Check out our other videos. We have three uh, videos for the fights coming up this week. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, follow, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. You get a free t-shirt. You get your own picks. I'll give you guys a full scouting report. I'll give you the whole the whole gamut you get uh, on my Patreon. You'll get exclusive shows. You can ask me to break down a fight, and I'll do it for you. I will give you all of that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please follow me all forms of uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is January 16th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.